Hi, it's Dwyer. February 19th, 2024. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk about the NBA. Let's talk about betting strategy. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, folks, we just all saw the All-Star game. We saw the festivities. You understand that this is peak Milwaukee Bucks, right? Giannis had a good game. The MVP was Dame Lillard. The three-point shooting champion was Dame Lillard, right? I'm guessing a lot of people are buying into the hype. Didn't they just hire Doc Rivers, who won an NBA championship with Kevin Garnett them years ago? Folks, in my opinion, if everyone stays healthy, the team that's coming out of the East this year is a juggernaut. They are the Boston Celtics. Right? I'm fading the Bucks. Understand, when you see a team like the Bucks, and they have a head coach who's winning games, who ends up getting fired, no one's going to say it publicly, but you understand he lost the locker room. You understand that people like Giannis went to management and said, hey man, I'm not sure about this guy. Whatever the words used, ownership understood that the coach did not have the confidence of the players. Now, I want people to look at Doc Rivers' record right now with the Bucks, Folks, he's not exactly on fire with that team. Right? Let me make another point, too. Teams changing coaches this deep into the season, folks, that's a red flag. I understand. There is history where a coach has been replaced and some teams have gelled. Think Young Magic with, of course, Kareem and a whole cast of characters with the Lakers years ago, right? But that's an outlier. There's too much dysfunction right now with the Bucks. Don't fall for the hype. Now understand, because Boston has been dominant and let me say this diplomatically, folks, I don't see a Denver in the Eastern Conference. I don't see a Clipper team in the Eastern Conference. Dare I say, I don't see the team that Anthony Davis said was the best team the Lakers had faced this year. I don't see a Minnesota Timberwolves team in the Eastern Conference. Folks, they're not there. Now, you're going to pay a dear price here. Right? Boston to win the Eastern Conference is only a 108. That's all you're getting. Just a shade over even money. Right, folks? It's worth the play. Right? I like Boston to come out of the East. Understand, if Boston just makes the Eastern Conference finals, you can hedge the play. If you need to, Lord knows if Boston is in the Eastern Conference Finals, understand Boston will have home court advantage. So you'd be able to hedge the play after seeing Boston at home for at least game one of that Eastern Conference Finals. Let's talk about the Western Conference. Here's where we get controversial. Right, folks, your goal here is to get leverage. There are a few teams in the West. I named some of them who have a shot here, right? The defending champ, they have a guy who might win his third MVP this season, right? And that's the Denver Nuggets, right? They're in the West. But what I want people to do is to not focus on Denver. Let's name another team. Right? The Clippers picked up James Harden. Folks, I'm just telling you, of all the top players in the league, in my opinion, James Harden has, over the last seven years or so, been the most underrated. Right? This is a guy who himself should have multiple MVPs. He won one the year he averaged more than 36 points a game. They didn't give it to him. 
right? He seems to have bad body language. Many people just don't think his game's pretty enough. He also has a reputation for being a coach killer, right? You just get the feeling that he's not loved. Well, here's what you need to know. He joins the Clippers, a team that had talent, right? Leonard, Paul George, right? They had talent. He's their best player. Understood, it took a while. But now he's the guy getting the assists on that team. James Harden can play with anybody, right? But we aren't focusing on the Clippers here, even though I think they have a chance to come out of the West. Here, we're focusing on two teams. We continue to focus on two teams that keep on winning. One is the team that Anthony Davis said was the best team the Lakers faced. The Minnesota Timberwolves. Understand, from Davis, that's high praise because Davis is a big man. What he's telling you is that the guy who dropped 50 in the All-Star game, Carl Anthony Towns, playing alongside a three-time defensive player of the year, Rudy Gobert, can slow down bigs in the conference. They give AD enough trouble where AD feels this is the best team the Lakers have faced. Folks, you're getting them at greater than 7-1 to one to win the conference, not the finals. The conference. Let's name another team. And I know people just don't get it. The Oklahoma City Thunder. Right? Gilius Alexander... Shea Gillius Alexander, folks, he is deep in the running. It's him or Joker for MVP, assuming the guys stay healthy. Joel Embiid, as one could have predicted, I believe I did in an earlier video, got injured. I don't think he qualifies for the MVP. He's not going to have 65 games played. And it's a knee injury. It's hard to hide a knee injury. Right, so understand, you have an MVP candidate. Let's talk about the guy who I think is going to be the runner-up for Rookie of the Year. Now, I'll agree. Wemby, San Antonio, he probably wins the award, right? He recently got a triple-double uh, that included double-digit blocks. Okay, fine. He's a interesting-looking player. He's a freak athlete, right? It's hard to find a guy that tall with that level of body control. But from this seat, the jury's still out on whether he's a better player than Oklahoma's Chet Holgren. What I want you to do is to look at the stats on Wemby Anna. He goes by Wemby, right? Look at Wemby's stats side by side with Chet Hulgren stats. Folks, Hulgren brings three-point shooting that Wemby just does not have. Right? Just understand, Hulgren has different parts of his game. Right? For a big, he is very developed. For a young guy, Right now, Oklahoma City, you're benefiting because they're from a smaller town. Right? They don't have that vibrant local press that the Knicks have, reminding us every day how improved the Knicks are. Right? They're not in New York. They're not in L.A. Right? They're not in the Bay Area. Right, folks? I'm just telling you, OKC is a vastly better team than, let's say, the Golden State Warriors. Right? OKC is in the mix. You're getting them at better than 7-1 to one to win the conference. Right? The bet I'm recommending here, you need futures action on both of them. Right? You could have gotten them for much longer odds if you had noticed them earlier in the season. The Timberwolves and the Thunder 
are where you want your money right now. Now, if you get in the playoffs, and if they end up facing Denver, the reigning champion, or the Clippers, who are clearly, and I mean clearly, the best team in L.A. and will continue to be, then at that point, you have a lot of gravy to work with, don't you? Right? Understand, the Clippers, Denver, they're going off at much shorter odds. Right? This is not the Eastern Conference, where there's a Goliath. Where you understand if Tatum, if, um, you know, Brown are healthy, if the team, Por Porzingis, if the team's healthy, Boston is in the NBA Finals. No, this is the Western Conference. Right? Four or five teams have a shot. My point to you is grab the two who are hopelessly undervalued if, in fact, Minnesota goes up against Denver in the playoffs. If OKC goes up against the Clippers in the playoffs. You have odds to work with because you've locked in better than 7-1 to one right now on both. Let me tell you, too. If lightning strikes and either the Timberwolves or the Thunder win the West, you collect. You don't even have to stick around for the finals. Don't get me wrong. We're basketball fans. We want to see the finals. Right? But understand, you're good at that point. The bets paid you in full at that point. Because again, the bet's not to win the NBA championship. It's just to win the conference. That's how I see it. It's February the 19th, 2024. We'll keep a commentary, a dialogue going, right? Because guys do get hurt. Because things do happen. Some will get it suspended. Some coaches might lose their job. It's already happened with the Premier team, the Bucks, this season, late. Right, so we'll keep the commentary going, but just understand, in the Western Conference, there's been a changing of the guard, hasn't there? Right before, you could set your watch to teams like Golden State, making it deep in the playoffs. This year, you can't, can you? Right, last year, we saw Denver break through for the first time. This year, there's a distinct possibility that somebody else is going to break through for the first time. Right? Because, folks, the Clippers, the Timberwolves, the Thunder, none of them have won an NBA championship. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this YouTube video. Let me also point out, too, that while the Celtics have certainly one of sports best histories the Tatum and Brown era has not delivered an NBA championship food for thought grab the better than 7 to 1 right now on the Timberwolves and the Thunder so that in the playoffs when they get deep if either gets deep you can hedge the play those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.